Peace family, it's the Vegan Juice Oracle here, and today we are showing you how to, uh, that was just a broom, showing you how to prepare your uh, sea moss for the uh, overnight or 24 hour soak, all right, in preparation uh, for the sea moss gel. So I get my sea moss gel from Fruits and Roots. This is the Condus Crispus variety. Uh, this is the brand that, well, this is the type of sea moss that Dr. Sebi talked about in one of his videos. I uh, provided a link to that uh, video um, where he talks about the Condus Crispus sea moss. It's a darker color. Uh, it's like a burgundy. Uh, this one here, he says, has more of the antioxidants. And I personally like this one uh, just for the, it gives me this emotional, this mental clarity or like emotional well-being. I can't explain it. It's just like, uh, it's really great. And uh, like if you suffer from like anxiety or just have a lot of stress, I would recommend this one here. Definitely. Um, again, this one has more of the antioxidants than the uh, golden uh, sea moss, the uh, wildcrafted Irish moss. But uh, they're both great. I use them both sometimes. I'll mix them together. <laughs> but anyway, so real sea moss is going to be nice and dry like that. No layers of salt caked on there. All right. And again, I get mine from uh, Fruits and Roots. Very reputable company. And in that link uh, to the uh, Dr. Sebi video, he talks about uh, fake moss or what I call the farm raised moss. Basically, uh, they'll take some sea moss and they'll put it in a pool and they'll have a machine to simulate the ocean wave and they'll, it'll grow. However, it'll be deficient in the minerals that normally uh, that you'll normally find in the uh, sea moss. So it won't have the same mineral medicinal value, but you, it'll be moss, but and then it'll, it'll be freakishly thick too, especially after the soak. It'll just swell up ridiculously large. Um, so anyway, uh, this is the Condus Crispus sea moss. All right, and uh, just read to you here what it says. Let's see. No, oh, actually, it comes with one of these as well. Congress Christmas Iris Moss. Okay. Um, you have in your hands one of nature's most powerful foods. Our bodies are compromised of 102 essential minerals, and Iris Moss is revered due to the fact that it delivers 92 of those minerals. So you would be hard pressed to find 92 minerals in any um, holistic food source. So, um, yep. So this is sea vegetation, sea moss. And I found a lot of seashells in my moss as well. I actually collect them. So what we're gonna do as we begin to prep our moss, um, you're gonna check it for sediment and stuff like that. So once you add the water, you'll be able to notice any thing foreign, seashells, um, this is different types of sediment that you might find in the, come out of the seawater. Yeah, I don't, I don't generally find anything other than seashells. Yeah. <clears throat> And so you're gonna let it soak for 24 hours, but remember at the end of your soak, you are not, and I repeat, you are not gonna throw this water out. This water is gonna contain lots of medicinal, uh, a lot of the residual uh, minerals from the soak. So you're gonna use that to make your sea moss gel, okay? So as the sea moss starts to rehydrate, uh, it's gonna reactivate uh, the natural compounds and you can see the water is looking murky there it's gonna look murkier than that after 24 hours and once your sea moss is once it's blended in the juicer it's gonna look like this the gel yep 
So anyway, you wanna make sure you add enough water. And I wanna give a shout out to my homeboy, Joe, uh, back in day two. All right. So make sure it's fully submerged because make sure you add enough water. So if you're gonna leave it and then go to work, let it soak or while you're gone because this sea moss is gonna expand and consume the water. So you know, make sure you got enough water in there. And then uh, what you wanna do, you wanna add a lime. What the lime is gonna do is absorb uh, that sea salt. Also, it's going to help absorb a lot of that kind of that sea flavor, you know. I don't wanna say fishy, it's not fishy, but it's kind of a, just like a sea kind of a taste. So, all right, so we're gonna stick our limes in here. Bam! Let that soak with that, and, um, and you don't wanna cover it. Do not cover it, and I wouldn't soak it in anything plastic. This is more like a ceramic, uh, this is like a, like a, pottery type of deal here but um yeah so i would recommend glass or or if it's plastic make sure it's bpa free yeah and this is more like a stone kind of thing here so yeah so just let it soak it's gonna expand and uh if i can give you a close-up here without messing up tablecloth here all right look at that that's amazing right it's like it's just coming back to life it's literally uh reactivating all the medicinal compounds and uh yeah this is still alive even though it was dry all dried out like that this is a living organism right now still yeah yep This is Condis Crispus sea moss. Yep, so make sure you check out those videos uh, the Dr. Sebi lecture talking about the Condis Crispus uh, sea moss and its medicinal value. All right, so there you have it. Peace, family.